Today's video is sponsored by NordPass. All right, so in today's video, I thought I would go over the three reasons why I would skip the Mavic 2 Zoom in 2020. This is gonna be a pretty simple and dirty video. I'll also talk about why I sold my Mavic 2 Zoom a couple of months back. Let's get started. What's good guys, Ken here, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I am a bit tired because just a couple of nights ago, I am still recovering from a four hour marathon stream we did for the 30,000 subscribers celebration. I'm probably never going to drink ever again. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about my reasons why I would not suggest or even buy the Mavic 2 Zoom in 2020. So let's get right into it. The first reason why I would not buy the Mavic 2 Zoom in 2020 is the price. At $1349, the acquisition price of the Mavic 2 Zoom is $100 more than it was when it first came out. When this first released back in 2018, it was $1249. It is now $100 more and partially due and thanks to tariffs, tensions with China has increased these prices quite a bit. Now there has been some times when you can find this drone for about $1149 and sometimes about $1200 depending on where you look. You can buy this drone without a controller for $1149. But if you're looking for your very first drone, it's a hard recommendation at $1249. I think there's a lot better options in which we'll talk more about options here in just a little bit. So reason number two why I wouldn't suggest the Mavic 2 Zoom is due to some of the dated specifications, but primarily due to the batteries. Now this sort of bleeds over into the Mavic 2 Pro as well. And I would look at this as a con for that drone as well. But the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom share the same batteries. And there's been numerous issues with batteries swelling over the past couple of months. Now, when this first happened to me, I thought this was an isolated event and it was just all me and maybe it was me not taking care of batteries properly. But fast forward to today, I've now gone through about seven different batteries for the Mavic 2 lineup, seven different batteries in which I bought. Now I did say I sold my Mavic 2 Zoom and when I sold my Mavic 2 Zoom, I actually gave that person batteries with probably like 15 cycles on it and which he's already had to replace those batteries just due to some of the issues that it's it's had now granted we are in florida and florida's climate is a little bit more extreme however i have seen several tweets from fellow creators and other followers that have had similar issues with their mavic 2 batteries with voltage drops and swelling but again if you are interested in how to maintain your batteries i would highly suggest you check out rick smith from drone valley because he's got some great tutorials on how to do this all right before i get into my last and final reason i want to quickly go over today's video sponsor which is nordpass you know i gotta pay some bills because you know i'm not uh that's you gotta you just gotta pay bills so today's video sponsor is NordPass. What is NordPass? Well, it's an all-in-one password management solution that allows you to sync your passwords across multiple devices like iOS, Android, Mac, or PC. It allows you to quickly and easily enter your credit card information without having to type it in. NordPass has browser extensions along with an application in which you can auto-populate passwords for multiple websites. If you don't know what type of password to use or you want a complex password, NordPass can help you generate that complex password. It can also identify whether you've reused passwords across multiple sites. This was one of my biggest issues was just reusing passwords because it's familiar to remember. And if you don't want to pay for a NordPass subscription, you can just download the app and use it for free. But if you do decide you want to be able to use this across multiple devices and sync it, well, my users right now will save by clicking the link in the description below or using code OriginalDobo at checkout. NordPass, your all-in-one password management solution. I think I did pretty good on that ad, Sandy. I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna sip my beer. Appreciate you guys letting me do it my way because you know I'm gonna do it my way either our way. So there you go. All right. So reason number three that I would not recommend the Mavic 2 Zoom 2020 is the camera. Now, when the camera first came out, I thought it was really cool that it offered two different focal lengths. But the more and more I used it, I ended up forgetting that the focal lengths were there. And the fact that the aperture on that focal length is not a fixed aperture, meaning that the exposure values will tend to change, just sort of was a turnoff for me. So I just never really used it. I also really didn't have a valid use case to use it. 
When you have a drone, you can zoom in and out just by moving closer or further away from your subject. That's the beautiful thing about having a drone. The other thing I found is with the camera in the shadows, I would get a lot of noise and degradation and I would notice some artifacting only in the shadow areas. Highlights seem to be perfectly fine, but I noticed there was a bit of grain in the shadows. Also, I like to fly in lower light sunset sort of nighttime situations. And when I flew at night with the Mavic 2 Zoom in several instances, there was immense amounts of grain in the shots and it just rendered them completely useless. It was also this drone specifically that made me purchase Neat Video for Premiere Pro. And if you don't know what Neat Video is, it's a cleaner that allows you to take noise out of video, which it can bring a computer to its knees. So having to clean videos that I shot at night with neat video just to get something usable is sort of a pain in the ass and something I really don't have to do with the Mavic 2 Pro like ever. So that's something to consider. If you're somebody who likes to fly at low light or at nighttime, the Mavic 2 Zoom is probably not going to be my first choice because of that video noise. Also with its inability to shoot 4K 60 in 2020 is a bit of a bummer. I know that that sensor is capable of doing it, but obviously DJI has crippled it and you got something like the Mavic 2 Air that is totally capable of shooting 4K60 and it offers HDR video in a similar compact sensor size. So I just think that for the value, it's probably just best to buy a Mavic Air 2 if, if you're looking at buying a drone. Now, the reasons why I sold my Mavic to Zoom specifically was I was using this for all of my real estate videos at one point but having to constantly battle that noise in certain shots and around specific colors was bothersome. And it was something that I just couldn't deal with anymore. Now, as far as photos go, no agent has ever said to me that the photos hat don't look good on a Mavic 2 Zoom. They don't even know. So if you're just interested in it from a photo perspective, yeah, sure, if you're looking for focal lengths, yeah, the Mavic 2 Zoom could be a good choice for you. But I think at 1349, and if you wanna save 500 bucks, just buy yourself the Mavic Air 2, because that's what I've been using lately on some of my shoots, just because I'm lazy and it's easy to pack up in a bag and take with me and get up in the air, it just makes sense. And at 700 bucks, if you lose it, it doesn't hurt as bad as if you lost $1,300. It also frees up some money, so that way if you're thinking about it, you could invest in a smart controller because when the smart controller does become available to work with the Mavic Air 2, it's gonna make that entire drone way better than it is today. So those are just some thoughts. But if you already own a Mavic 2 Zoom, I'm not saying it's a bad drone, so don't take this the wrong way because I know how people get all hellbent about their products for whatever reason, just relax. It's still a good drone. It's just not a drone that I would purchase if I don't have a drone. Hopefully this video made sense. I know it was a little bit all over the place and stuff, but uh, there you go. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a like. If you didn't, you wanna hit that thumbs down button, go fuck yourself. You're an asshole for even using that button.